Hey YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. It's so good to be back with you. And let me tell you, it's good to have a voice back. <clears throat> I haven't been around the last few days. Um, I had um, my annual spring allergy slash cold slash flu, whatever you call it, attack. <clears throat> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still congested, <clears throat> but I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I get this every spring, every fall. It doesn't seem to matter what I do, it comes every year on time, so I'm not surprised. <clears throat> but anyways, I have thought about you guys, and I thought, I miss talking to my YouTube buddies. So, here we are. Anyways, I want to say um, thank you to all of you who came out to my recent video on joining the Universal Pagan Temple. If you didn't get to see that, check it out. It's the video right before this one. I think you'll like it. Go over and join the, join their site as well. Become part of Universal Pagan Temple. I love them. They're good friends of mine. Tell them, say good Bob sent us. Anyways. <clears throat> so, today I just thought I would come and share some thoughts that have been on my mind. Um, <clears throat> It's not going to be a long video today. I don't have still. I'm not fully back to strength, so bear with me. <clears throat> but um, anyways, I want to talk about sacred symbols, and, and particularly in terms of wearing sacred symbols, such as sacred jewelry. Um, some of you have said, Bob, I like your jewelry. You notice different things I wear, and I thought maybe I'd just talk about some of that today. Um, you know, we maybe will uh, we'll start a new series here also as part of YouTube, part of my channel on YouTube. Um, you know, a lot of you say, say, Bob, can you do a program where you just answer questions, just personal questions about your life and your experiences as a psychic? And I think we could do that. I think that would be a, a good um, a good type of program. So. Anyways, a lot of you do ask about my jewelry and, and different things. So it got me thinking about, you know, what it means, why I wear my jewelry. I don't just wear jewelry like my pendant or my rings just to be flashy. I mean, I enjoy them, but I have actually deeper meaning. Um, all of my jewelry is what I call sacred jewelry. It has a, has a deep meaning behind it. Um, like, for example, um, this is... Uh, one of my newer rings. This is from the, the movie Lord of the Rings, and it's uh, Aragorn's ring, Prince Aragorn's ring. Um, it's a replica. You can see it's got a little green gemstone. looks like an emerald in it, and it's done in silver. Uh, that's one of my rings, and I wear this ring because it reminds me to keep magic in my everyday life. You know, if you've seen the Lord of the Rings movie, it's very magical. A lot of people say, oh, that's all fiction. Well, yeah, it's fiction, but that energy of magic is real. And those of you who have studied the arts of magic know that it's real. And there was a time on the earth when people were much more attuned to that. And I think those of us who are magic practitioners should, uh, you know, try to keep our minds remembering of, that we connect back to the ancient past. And in a sense, we bring again new energy to the earth magical energy. So that's, you know, one of the rings I wear. And my other ring, everybody's uh, asking about this, so what's this other thing you wear? Well, I have a number of rings, but once more you'll see this one in some of my videos. This is actually my Jupiter ring, and that's a symbol for Jupiter. I think I did a video on this, the, the whole sigil of Jupiter spell. Um, but that's about um, success and in, in, in prosperity, and I wear it on my right hand because it means drawing to me these things. I'm a left-handed person, so my, my projective hand is my left hand. That's where I send power on. My right hand is my receptive hand. So because I want to draw to myself, you know, um, success, prosperity, you know, large ventures, this is why I wear this ring. So I wear it on this hand. And you might want to think about kind of, you know, with your jewelry, you know, which hand are you left-handed, you right-handed? Things you want to draw, find a sacred symbol and put it on your receptive hand. Receptive means the hand you do not write with, okay? Um, try that, you know. Uh, but I've had this um, 
uh, sigil of Jupiter ring for a number of years, and I really liked it, and I feel it's been a real blessing to me. Uh, whenever I have an important business meeting, I make sure to wear it, and that way uh, I draw success to myself, you know. Um, and then, of course, you guys have seen this, but some of you may not have seen this. is my one of my favorite necklaces. This is actually rather new as well, which is my pentacle, uh, my green crystal pentacle. And I love the pentacle because it's a symbol of the Wiccan tradition. And, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, I, I actually have a whole video on the pentacle uh, and what the meanings of the pentacle are. But... Basically, it's a sign that spirit overarches all creation and brings unity. And it's a beautiful symbol. It's not evil. Um, but I wear that every day so for protection and blessing and to remind me of the, the matters that God is in charge. You see, our goddess, divinity, overarches all reality. And I think that's important. You know? um, I think that it's very important in our lives that we reflect on a higher power. And however you call that, you know, whether you call it God or Jesus or Buddha or Allah, it doesn't really matter. But that reflecting on that higher power is so important. And um, that's why I think everybody should wear at least one sacred symbol. Uh, like I wear a pinnacle pretty much every day. And you know, uh, if I'm not wearing it in a, in a pendant, I may have it on a ring. But try to find a symbol that speaks to you of your faith or of your God, your deity, your goddess. Something that talks to you. And then wear it, you know. Uh, because when you put on, the, you know, something every day, when you make the act of wearing sacred jewelry, you're, you're making a conscious effort to say, you know what, I'm going to stop and reflect. When you put that jewelry on, you realize what you're wearing and you think about it. And it again draws your mind to the higher place. And I think that's so very important. You know, in our modern age, we all get so crazy uh, out there distracted with all these things, worrying about paying the bills and getting to work on time and all that stuff, that we need to have something to remind us. You know, I, many years ago, was... Um, at a, at a, I was actually at a hotel visiting, and I saw that um, a lot of the staff were wearing the same gold cross, and it was with some of the hotel maids and some of the desk people. And I said to the lady, I said, this beautiful little gold cross, you're, you're a Christian. She said, yes. I said, I know a lot of you wearing this. Are, are you part of the same church or something? She says, oh, well, you know, we have like kind of a little Bible study group in our, in our work, in the, you know, after hours. Um, and she said, we all just wear this as a sign, that, you know, of our little study group. And I thought that was really neat, you know. Um, and, you know, so the Christians, uh, many of them love to wear their crosses. I think that's a beautiful expression of, of their faith. And um, I thought, wow, you know. And it's for me, I can tell you, it's also wonderful when I go in public and I see somebody else wearing a pentacle. I say, wow, there's a fellow brother or sister in the craft, you know. Um, that's, a nice, that's a nice experience. Nowadays, you know, a lot of Wiccans are finding that they can actually wear their, their jewelry openly. Um, you know, in the olden days, I don't know, maybe not so far ago, so far back, I should say. <coughs> Pardon me, my voice is going here. But, you know, not that long ago is what I'm trying to say, is that a lot of people, particularly Wiccans and pagans, were f afraid to let their jewelry be seen openly. A lot of them would tuck it inside their shirt. Uh, and that's still, I imagine, done in some places still. But I am seeing more and more people openly wearing pentacles. And I, I really like that. And I think we who are able to kind of be open and be voices for the craft, for the pagan movement, should wear the symbols. Um, you know, I'm out publicly. Everybody knows who I am. So, you know, the fact that I'm a Wiccan, I can't be in the broom closet. Everybody knows that, you know. it's um, So I, I'm in a place where, you know what, I can be that voice. You may not be able to do that. But, but, but I would encourage you at least find 
a symbol and wear it. And if you can't wear it openly, wear it within yourself. But wear it because it will help you to kind of be stronger in that connection. Um, I think it's important. You know, in the spirit world, they communicate through symbols. Um, not everything is words and linear thinking like we have on Earth. On Earth, everything's logic, you know. Subject, you know, verb, predicate, you know. We have order, the structure of language. In the spirit world, many times information is transferred mind to mind instantly and in symbolic form. And so when we find a symbol, not only does it help us uh, remember our faith or our spiritual truth, it also connects to our spirit much stronger as the spirit understands symbols. So if you want to kind of be more in touch with your spirit, also meditating on a sacred symbol would be wonderful. Now I'm talking about the pinnacle because that's really the symbol that really speaks for me. Um, you know, you don't have to have the pinnacle, but uh, that is one of the major symbols in the pagan uh, and Wiccan movements. So um, that's the one I, I use, um, you know. Your sacred symbol might be an owl. Let's say you're a worshiper of the goddess Athena. Well, the owl is her symbol. So maybe you could wear an owl pendant, you know. Or if you worship the goddess Hecate, you could wear a frog pendant, you know. So it doesn't just have to be a pinnacle, but it should be a symbol that is sacred to you. It doesn't have to be sacred to everybody else. But it should be something that when you see, say, wow, ah, that really goes to my spirit. And if you do that, that awareness will empower not only your spirit, it will bless your body, your mind, and your spirit, and it will be a wonderful message to those who come in contact with you. You know, now you don't always have to tell everybody what your sacred symbol means. You know, I recently had a fundamentalist preacher come up to me, and uh, he was trying to start an argument with me about my pentacle. And he says, uh, <clears throat> well, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, necklace you're wearing. He said, I was around in the 60s, and hippies used to wear pendants similar to that. And I said, oh, hmm, yeah. And I could tell where he was going with this. And he said, um, are you Jewish? I said, no. Oh, I thought that's a Star of David. I said, no, it's a five-point star. Dave, star of David, six-pointed star. Okay. He said, oh, <clears throat> he said, well, what religion is that? And I thought, oh, no, no, we're not getting into this. I said, well, this just represents uh, God to me. And I left it at that. And uh, he said, oh, you believe in God? I said, oh, very much so. So anyways, he couldn't figure it out because he thought it was a Jewish star. Uh, so he thought I was a Jewish person. We're going to preach about Jesus. And when I told him that it represents God and he couldn't place it, Anyways, it worked out good. He didn't think it was a pinnacle, I guess, or didn't recognize it as such. So, you know, I was waiting for him to call me Satanist, but they didn't go there. He was going down the Jewish route. Anyways, the reason I bring that up, though, is that symbols are powerful. And see, my necklace stirred something in him and got him one to talk. And I just, you know, realized that he was not yet in a place to really have that conversation. So I just said simply, it represents God to me. And you can say that to people. You know, you don't have to tell them everything about your faith or tradition. You know, if they're not really ready for that or, you know, they're just starting to fight. You know, so you could choose a symbol. You know, for example, like I said, if you wore Hecate symbol, which is a frog, most people would just say it's a frog. But for you, you would know it represents the ancient mother goddess. So there's so much that, uh, you know, so many different ways that you can express your faith. But I do think it's important. You know, I know that sometimes when, um, you know, some of you have written to me and you said, Bob, I, you know, stayed up all night. I was, you know, upset about something. Some of you have been saying you've been writing me, you stayed up all night crying. You know, you didn't sleep and you just stared out the window at the night sky. When you have those moments of, aloneness and terror and you're afraid, you can hold on to your sacred symbol in those times. And it can be a comfort to you in those dark moments, you know. I sometimes think that if I were to suddenly fall over uh, and start dying or gasping for breath, 
it would be a comfort to me to have my pinnacle to hold in my hand in those moments of crossing to the other side. And so that's another reason why you could wear it. Um, it will help you in your time of need. Uh, it will bring you comfort. It will help you keep a prayerful attitude. And it might just save you. Don't forget, magic can be imbued in sacred symbols. And so we want to honor those symbols. Anyways, guys, I just want to come here. I just That's been on my mind. I want to share that with you, you know, just to see what you guys think. So, Anyways, why don't you tell me in the box below, um, do you wear a sacred symbol? And if so, what is it? And if you don't, um, you know, and you're thinking about it, share what you've been thinking about. And say, well, I've been thinking about getting this and that. I'd love to hear it, you know. So let's have a discussion in the box below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you'll keep it here. We're going to have more videos coming soon. <clears throat> I'm going to take a, the day, the rest of the day off and rest. So you're going to forgive me, guys. I'm not going to be around a lot to talk, but um, I am praying for all of you, sending light to you, blessings from the spirits, and I'm just glad that you're part of my channel. And uh, if you've been watching, um, you know, this is kind of neat, why don't you just subscribe? It doesn't cost anything, and you'll get all your updates, and you'll be part of our community here. We'd love you to be part of it. So I hope you'll you'll think about joining. So anyways, thumbs up, like this, favorite it, share it with your friends, and tell me, what is your sacred symbol, and do you wear it? Uh, have you thought about wearing it? Do you think you might want to be able to wear it? Tell me about that. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We'll be back. I'm going to take the afternoon off, get a little rest. We'll see you soon. Blessings to you.